I'm going to present a vol harmony testing algorithm for ancient scripts. The motivation for this research stems from a study of the Minoan Bronze Age civilization, which was centered on the island of Crete with major palaces at Knossos and Festus. In 1600 BC, a volcanic eruption on the island of Santorini destroyed much of the Minoan civilization. Soon the palaces were forgotten. The Festus Palace was discovered only in the early 20th century. During an excavation in 1908, Luigi Pernier, the famous Italian archaeologist, found the Festus disk, which is the longest Minoan inscription, with a total of 241 signs in a unique script. For over a century, many researchers tried to decipher the inscription. They proposed a wide range of possible languages for the inscription. In this video, we determine which languages can be excluded from consideration using a computer algorithm. Our algorithm considers two classes of vowels. The front vowels, such as E, A, E, A, and the back vowels, such as U, O, A, A. Many languages have a front-back vowel harmony. That means that words have only front vowels or only back vowels. For example, in Finnish, Hungarian, and Turkish, the words for cloud and foot have vowel harmony. That is a feature for most of the basic words in these languages. Vowel harmony is a characteristic of many language families, including Finno Greek, Korean, Mongolic, Nilo Saharan, Tungusic, and Turkic language families. The Festus this inscription is divided into two sides. Each side is further divided into blocks. Side A, which is shown here, has 31 blocks, while side B has 30 blocks. Following Alter Evans, we number the blocks and read the inscription from the center to the outside of the disk. Next, we identify the root words in the inscription. The root words are frequently repeated sequences of signs that do not always occur at the beginning or the end of the blocks. For example, the walking man sign, followed by the club sign, occurs in five different blocks. Therefore, this pair of signs is a root word. The shield sign, followed by a plumed hat sign, always occurs at the end of blocks. Hence, it is likely a suffix. If we change the reading direction, then it could be a prefix, but it still would not be considered a root word. We assume that each sign denotes a syllable that is either a consonant vowel pair or a single vowel. Many syllabic scripts of this type existed in the Bronze Age, including the Sumerian cuneiforms, the Cypriot syllabary, and the Linear B script, which is a descendant of Linear A, also from Crete. Our vowel harmony testing algorithm consists of five steps. First, we find frequent pairs of 
and triplets of signs. Second, we find hypothetical root words by eliminating those frequent sequences that always occur at the beginning or the end of blocks. Third, we create a syllable adjacency graph for the root words. Fourth, find the major connected components of the syllable adjacency graph. Fifth, if the number of major connected components is two, then return the answer that the inscription has vowel harmony. We already identify the root words that occur on the fastest disk. A syllable adjacency graph is built as follows. First, we create a node for each sign or syllable. Next, we go through the list of root words. If a root word contains signs A and B, then we draw an edge between the nodes that represent A and B. If there already is an edge, then we do nothing. After all the root words are considered, the syllable adjacency graph is finished. We see that it has two major connected components, a blue with eight nodes, a red with seven nodes, and three minor components with two nodes each. Apparently, the blue contains back vowels and the red front vowels, and the script has vowel harmony. Therefore, the algorithm returns the answer that the language of the inscription has vowel harmony. Linear A and Kraton hieroglyphic inscriptions also yield syllable adjacency graphs with two major connected components. Therefore, the language of these scripts also has front-back vowel harmony. The details can be found in the reference below. Now we can prove the following theorem. Out of all the proposals, all but Ugric can be excluded. We already did the first and second steps of the proof, that is, identifying root words and showing vowel harmony. The third step requires us to evaluate whether the proposed languages have front-back vowel harmony. Since Basque, Egyptian, the Indo-European and the Semitic languages do not have front-back vowel harmony, these can be excluded from further consideration. Since Finno-Greek languages contain front-back vowel harmony, the algorithm supports the Ugric proposal. In conclusion, we presented a vowel harmony testing algorithm for syllabic scripts. The algorithm can be used before decipherment attempts to save time by focusing on languages that are more likely to succeed. The language of the Minoan scripts has front-back vowel harmony. Out of the current proposals, only the Ugric proposal by Reves for the Fastos disk, Kraton hieroglyphs, and Linear A satisfies the front-back harmony criterion. Thank you for listening.